Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you very quickly how to create a very simple human eye and escape. We're not going to cover how to do eyelashes because that's a little bit complicated, although there are multiple methods that you can use, so I'll probably do that in a follow-up tutorial. What I'm going to show you is how you can create this basic shape here that we have. Pupil in the center, some nice sheen on the outside of it, and also this little piece here in the corner. So, first of all, I'm going to move all of this off to the side. And all you need is an ellipse. Go to Path, Object to Path. I'm going to the Node Editor, which you can do by double click here on the object. Select the two nodes on the sides and make them corners. Then create another ellipse. This time you want more of a circle, so you can make sure that they are exactly the same on each of your radii. And make sure you have snapping enabled as well because this will make life a lot easier when you want to put this in the very center. Just make sure that it is zoom in so this will be a little bit easier. Right, make sure that it is on these two dots right here in the center of the other object. And you can change the colors as well. Right now I have it set so that the sclera is white as it should be. Now the pupil I'm going to make that black. And if you want you can change this a little bit so let's make it more of a dark brown color. Great, there you go. And then what we're going to do is add a gradient to this. So in the Fill and Stroke tab, under Fill, you can add a circular gradient. Make sure that both points are opaque, and the one on the inside, you want that to be black. And then we're going to add some other points in here and just drag them so that you have this clean separation between the inner part of the pupil, how the actual iris and the pupil are separate is what I mean to say. And you can already see this is beginning to look like a human eye. We don't really need to do much more from here. So what we're going to do is add another circle. You don't need to be as exact with this one, but I'm still going to do that for the sake of convenience. And let's make this smaller. This one, of course, you want it to be completely white because this will represent some shine in the eye. And if you want, you can add some transparency to this. Or you can use a gradient and just adjust your values however you want to do it. If you don't want to use a circle, another option is to use a rectangle. Just make sure that your corners are flat. You can rotate it like this. And then you can go to the node editor, object to path, add some points in between here. And if you like, you can move these points in the middle around and make them smooth. Just move these up a little bit for. So that this now is curved. So that's another way you can do it. But I'm going to stick with the circle, so just delete that. Put the circle back here again. And before we add this corner here in the A, what we're going to do is actually add a deformation to this one. So to do that, let's go to Path. Path effects and we will add lattice deformation. Then you go to the node editor. You can drag any of these points around to deform the A shape. You don't need to do too much with this, but of course, this is just a demonstration. You can change it however you want to change it to make it look however you want it to look.
I am pretty satisfied with this. So now that we've deformed it, select both circles, put them in a group, and just resize accordingly, and then move them to where you need them to. With that done, you can select the sclera, which is this white object here, duplicate it, go to fill a stroke, turn the stroke on, turn the fill off, and you can adjust the size of your strokes to the size that you want. I'm going to make this one dark brown this time instead of completely black. And that's almost everything. So the last thing now to do is to add that little corner in the side. So we'll duplicate the sclera and add a circle. Now before you do that, let me just make sure and apply this path effect. So to do that, under path effects, choose the lattice deformation and this arrow right here and then the menu click off flathead and that will apply the path effect so it doesn't show back up in the node editor again and then we can just add this circle over here give it color that we want all right let me copy this because i'm on stroke let's turn off stroke turn on fill and play that color and then we can move this down Select this object and under path, well, under object, sorry, you want clip, set clip, and then you move this down by one, and there you go. So now we have two really cool looking human eyes. And as I said, we're not going to cover how to do eyelashes in this one or how to do eyelids. Eyelids are um, pretty simple as well, but you have multiple options. So what I will do in my follow-up tutorials, I'll show you how to do eyelids and eyelashes. But that covers it for now. And if you want to add a little bit of style, like I did to this eye, you'll notice that there's a slight bit of extra color there. You can just add another circle like this and turn on the stroke, turn off the fill, resize it downward. You'll notice I have that extra circle there by accident. I forgot those were grouped, so we'll just delete the extra circle. And under stroke, we will change this to a kind of color close to yellow. Add a gradient. Let's add a point here and make this a little lighter. And then we'll just blur it. And there you go gives you a nice extra color to your eye. So of course you have multiple options you can play around with this as much as you want with colors and other styles. Anything else you want to add to it. But other than that, that's basically it. So you can look out for more tutorials coming from me next month. And also I'm going to be covering some other stuff but we'll see what I do cover in time. So until next time, I'm Roland Taylor, aka Roland Bitsar. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And check out my other videos to figure out what you can do with Inkscape. See you next time.